folks have been uh, hired recently to repopulate some data into a, a InDesign table for a big brochure uh, and it's got a lot of numbers and stuff in it and what they gave me to go by is an old PDF and here it is and uh, so let's say this non-catalytic here uh, you can see I've got one built for non-catalytic and these are some things where I've already fixed it but I just want to do this to show myself and remind myself how to pull this off so I'm going to get the non-catalytic numbers and I want to be able to copy them right from this PDF command C I want to be able to paste them into this line right here right so the thing I found out, of course, in InDesign is when you go to do that, it puts them all in a in one thing like that rather than across all. Now, before you criticize me and say, "Well, Tony, you should have highlighted all," I'll show you what happens when you do that too. Edit, undo, paste. I'll go here and now I'm going to just highlight all these, right? And Command V, and it still doesn't do it. All those figures are still in there. I'm going to Command Z and undo that. The way you do this, if you you just can open up a new box here like this, do a Command V. Here all these are. You can highlight them. You can go to any table, insert table, or actually converts convert text to table. And you got to make sure this is the right number here. If you had eight or nine or ten, it would be wrong. There are eleven numbers here, so you have to do eleven, and you have to have paragraph chosen. This is not tab or comma delimited. This is just numbers that pop up straight out of a PDF. So you choose paragraph and say OK. And boom, there you go. And then you can copy these from there. And you go up here and you select all your holes. Do V. And now the formatting's wrong, but I have formatting over here, uh, cell text regular, and do that. I'd hit center here and they're all centered up. And that's how you do it, folks. You can copy and get the right kind of formatting and you can do sales. And you can do this very quickly. Let's do the next, uh, I'll do a net, another line of them here. Let's just get rid of this one. So I'm going to do another line here, the line underneath there. I'll go through the whole process again. You copy, Command C, go over here, Command V, highlight them, uh, table, convert text to table, make sure it's paragraph, make sure it's the right number here, hit OK, boom. Highlight all these, Command C, bring them over here, highlight all these, Command V. And then you can do your whatever formatting you've got set up to do it. And there you go. And that's how I was pulling it off and saving myself a whole, whole lot of time and guesswork. So I'm just not real good at typing in a bunch of figures like this. I'm going to delete this. This is the page above. So you can see how this works out. This is the page that I laid out for them. It's, uh, the reason it's off center is because they're going to have holes punched in here. So this looks like it's kind of, you know, off, <laughs> off kilter a little bit. But that's because the left and right of each of these pages, if I do a go down here preview you'll see what it really looks like and so yeah it's a buck stove corporation uh, layout that I've done for them I'm just re actually reproducing this uh, brochure the PDF they had had uh, some kind of low-res images and stuff and if you were to see these things blown up you see there's some jaggies and stuff here this is actually from a Photoshop file but then on mine, I've gone and found uh, nice pieces of art and stuff to, to use for this. So it should be high quality. So yeah, folks, that's my little trick for doing those sales. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.